Hello! I'm Necro, and today I'm going to take you through the Adventurer's Tome items of the Sea Swept Woods in Tortoig. Unlike other zones I've covered so far, there are no Makoko seeds in all of Tortoig. With that said, I'll be leaving timestamps in the descriptions. So without further ado, let's begin. We're going to start out at the Ocean Scent Seashore Triport. From the Triport, just come down here to the left at the docks, and right beside the portal out to the open seas, you're going to find this little Naruni on the dock. Walk up to him and investigate. You'll start the hidden story road to becoming a Naruni expert. We're going to go ahead and finish this up real quick, so go to the Sweetwater Forest up at the Woodland Path Triport. Run or take your ladybug to the left. Climb up these vines right here and come to this location where you'll find a green Naruni hiding in the shrubs. Investigate him to get number 204. Now we'll go to Skyreach Step and head to the Rocky Forest Hill Triport. Run north. So you get right here, where you'll find a tiny pink Naruni, who you'll investigate for three of four. For the final one, we'll head to the Forest of Giants at the Tortoig's Arm Triport. You'll come to this elevator southwest, ride it down, then make your way to right here, where we'll find a tiny green Naruni, and that will finish up the road to becoming a Naruni expert hidden story. Now head back to the Sea Swept Woods at the Cashew Tree Forest Triport. Start heading east, make your way to this right donut shape on the map. Here we'll be looking for the hard-shelled forest Lokorok. It could also be at this location right here. Then we'll make our way north up the trail, making sure we stop here at Daku Daku to pick up the quest currently away. You'll be finishing up this quest chain in order to get the This Is Nothing But Another Story. After you finish the A Hand In Need part of this quest, the next part will begin in Makoko Village. So you can either finish it now, or when we head there in the next episode. Now we'll head to the far right and take this back path to right here. Where we'll find the Cashew Tree Forest Vista. Continue on until you get to this section of the map. Either here or towards the front, you'll be looking for the Violent Monkey Boss Monster Mark. Once he's added to your book, we're going to get back on the main path. And come all the way to the north wall here. But we'll find this pile of vegetables in the grass, which we'll investigate, to start cows moving Lokorok. We'll go ahead and finish that by coming to the Skyreach Step at the Thumb Shores Triport. From the Triport, we're going to take this long east path over the bridge and climb up these vines right here. And just a short distance north of those vines, if you look here by this waterfall behind this rock, you'll find another investigate option. And examining it will give you cows moving Lokorok. Hidden story completion. Once again, we're going to head back to the Sea Swept Woods, this time at the Ancient Grindstone Vestige Triport. Make your way towards the Makoko Village. Over in this area here, we're going to be looking for the Righteous High Bee Recon Monster Mark. He could be anywhere on this left side of the map. Then we're going to walk a little south to just right here, where we can investigate this flower to get Honeycomb, which we'll use to make the sweet, sweet royal jelly later. And to finish up, make your way north to right about here where you'll find the giant cashew tree vista. And that's all for the Sea Swept Woods. You can expect most of the zones in Tortoig to be like this, really quick and easy. But uh, if this video helped you at all, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you'd like to see the rest of the series, and let me know if there's anything I can help you with in the comments. We're going to go over the Makoko Village next, so until then, that's all for me. See ya.